We are here with The Russia, who's um, six years old and all the way from Kisumu. And uh, we're going to be asking you a, a, a couple of questions. And the first question I want to ask you is, what school are you from? I'm from Babe Bre Braben. Oh, um, I go to Braceheads. Same thing, yeah? And um, who inspired you to draw uh, color this really nice picture? My mom. That's really nice. And um, when you were coloring this, were you watching the TV Olympics, the Rio thing? No. And um, do you have any favorite athlete from the Rio Olympic Games or even outside the Rio Olympics? Um, David Rudisha. Hmm? Why is David Rudisha your favorite? Because she's so fast at running. Oh, that's really nice. And um, do you like coloring a lot? Do you like coloring? Do you have a lot of coloring books? Yes. And um, when you were drawing this were, and you saw your picture in the newspaper that you, and your name and everything, were you excited? Were you jumping up and down? No. Then what were you doing? I was excited. You're excited. Did you give mom a big hug because she uh, inspired you to, draw, to color this? Mm, no. Good luck in uh, the rest of your drawing. And do you want to end up becoming an artist when you're older? Yes. And what type of uh, things you want to draw? Or you want to be a, pa a painter and you sell paintings? Mm, I want to draw like faces of people. Uh, so that's really, that's really nice. And I wish you luck in the rest of your artistic career. And I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, I'm joined here by Master Lucas. He is a artist, uh, specifically he is a painter, and he sent in a painting for the Young Nation uh, painting competition. And um, you guys will see the painting on the screen right now. And basically it's just a painting of, it was very original in the sense that he colored in the Kenyan and the Ethiopian runners himself. And he also did the flag in the background and all the little details you see right now, the birds and the, and the clouds and the mountains and the rivers. So, um, how old are you, Lucas? Nine. You're nine years old, yes? And uh, do you enjoy watching sports? No. You don't like watching sports, all right. And uh, do you specifically like any Kenyan athletes, like David Rudisha or um, any specific, like any Kenyan athlete at all? Yes. All right. So, you do, you're very patriotic, aren't you? All right. And um, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Yellow is your favorite color. And you can, as I can see right here, there is some yellow. He had to add it for the Ethiopian. Very color-coordinated drawing. Uh, I think he can draw better than I can. And you uh, should be very proud of that. I've been here quite a bit longer than you have, and you still can draw better than me. And um, who inspired you to draw this? Uh, was it your dad, your teacher? My brother. Your brother, all right. Is your brother an artist too? No. But he just inspired you to draw, because you can do it, right? All right, and um, do you like anything? What's your favorite meal? Like, if you were to go out right now, what would you like to eat? Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. That's everyone's favorite meal, isn't it? So <laughs> and um, do you want to say hi to anyone? You want to say hi to mom, dad, uh, your brother, anyone? Just look into the camera and say hello. Mom and right dad. Right there, right there. Mom and dad. Your dad, yeah? So you can you can say the names, you can say to the camera, say hello. You know you're a winner hello. today. You should be happy, man. Don't be shy. Hello. Mom and Dad. Alright. Hi mom and dad. Uh, I'm sure you're very proud of your son. Um he's done a very good job and uh, I do wish you the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Dalton Adhyambo, who who's one of the winners of the Young Nation essay competition where the topic was to write a essay just based on a school event you have. So Dalton, we're going to be asking you a few questions and um, congratulations first of all for winning this uh, or being one of the winners. And how old are you? I'm 14 years old. And uh, being 14 years old, uh, what class are you in? I'm in class 8. That's uh, a very um, demanding year that you're in right now but I'm pretty sure with uh, such great English that you have that it'll be very easy for you and um, uh, God willing, you'll be passing your exams. So Dalton, what inspired you to write this uh, beautiful essay? It's just the one who inspired me. Uh, that's very good uh, news that your teacher inspired you to write this uh, great uh, composition. 
And um, what is it about? Can you give me like a small briefing of what this composition is about? It's about the drama festival, and here is a paragraph. The first one. Drama is the act of performing and writing plays. A festival, a festival is a celebration held to mark an event. Drama festival is an event set aside by our school to allow the pupils to show their creativity and ens enhance the art of performing. And um, a question based on this is, is this a real life event or is it uh, f uh, an imaginary or create like a, another event? It was just imaginary. And um, have you ever wanted to perform in a drama festival? Yes. And uh, any specific type of um, career that you want to aspire to? I would like to be a journalist. That's uh, v some very interesting uh, uh, aspirations and I really like the fact that you want to be a journalist. And uh, based on journalism, who's your favorite uh, journalist? Is from Nation, from any other place? From Nation. And who is this that uh, inspires you? Emmanuel Juma. Emmanuel Juma. Oh, that's a very good choice. <laughs> and um, based on uh, this all, um, what's your favorite part of uh, journalism? Is it There's a lot of aspects of journalism usually. There's the people who are writing, there's the people who are going up to different events and reporting, and even people who are interviewing other people. My favorite part is the sports. From this uh, wonderful story you have, um, do you often like writing compositions like in your free time or when your teacher gives you a composition to write, you start getting really excited and you're like, wonder what I'm going to be doing today, you're full of ideas. Yes, I usually write like two compositions in a week. Oh, that's very good practice. I'm sure based on all this, it's giving a good practice for your class 8 English. Yes. So I hope you uh, have a good uh, Class 8, I hope you do well in your rest of your exams and good luck and congratulations.